Hey guys, it's Pop Review. I'm Alex. I'm Sean. And we're talking about Detective Pikachu today. Okay, well, uh, this is so weird to be talking about this movie because we've been anticipating it for so long. I was on like this roller coaster of yes. emotion. I'm like, I hate this. And then I'm like, maybe this is gonna be okay. And then I was so excited and I just feel so emotionally drained. <laughs> yeah, the, the Ryan Reynolds voice was just like, when we first heard I was like, oh man, I don't know if that works. And yeah. then the second trailer, like, oh, okay, I'm, 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 it's growing on me. By the third trailer, and all the spots was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, it, it's good. Like, I get it. <laughs> I, I get, get it. it. So. Yeah, so this is a spoiler review. Yes. Not that there's like too much to spoil, I guess. Not there's, really. Like, one major twist. Very twisty. Yeah. Right. But uh, right. twisty. <laughs> um, yeah. So if you haven't seen the movie, go watch it. If not, uh, if you have, you can stay. You can stay. Yeah. So initial thoughts about Detective Pikachu. Okay. So this is weird. So initial thoughts after I like loved it when I walked out of the theater. I was like, oh my god, I'm so excited. But I think that had a lot to do with a couple of factors. One, um, I was seeing it with my best friend who I saw the original first Pokemon movie <laughs> with back in, you know, 1999 or whatever that was. Um, so that was like kind of cool to like be sitting next to her. And... Nostalgia tropes. Yeah. Um, so that was exciting because we were like the most annoying people in the theater by far. So it was like, bunch... like, there's that big that Pokemon and then there's that one and there's that one. No, we were just like joking and like, oh. like just like, so loud. I'm just like making fun of it and like making I, fun of like when I was watching it, it there was there was oh, two women sitting next to me and they just kept saying that's that point. It was like I had a Pokédex well, right next to me. There like, were times. What's that Pokemon? Oh, t thanks for telling me. There were times when my friend was like, "What's that one?" <laughs> you know, and she's like, "I don't recognize that." I didn't have to do that. Just, like, yeah. Girl right next to me was like, "That's that." Like, oh, that's funny. She's like a grown woman. It just like knew knew everything. I was just like, all right. That would um, be me. I know, but just like, all right. Um, please be quiet. Yeah, that's fair. Um, anyway, so I think that definitely colored my experience because that was fun. Um, also, there was wine involved, uh, and there were reclining seats. So I was just like in my element. I was comfortable. Had my wine. I had my yeah. best friend. And I'm watching a Pokemon movie. I got two packs of cards. You know, they handed me two. I haven't opened them yet. <laughs> Um, so yeah, but then my feelings about it evened yeah. out and Over like, time. now I'm kind of looking at it from a more, you know, stable perspective. Yeah. Um, so it was all right. Thoughts? It was all right. Um, uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> the end, no, I'm just kidding. Um, it, it was just nice to see the world building that they did. Mm -hmm. So if this movie does nothing else, it just builds on the world that they already established in, in the anime. Yeah. So, um, with that being, which I didn't think they were going to do, but I was watching the movie and it's like, oh yeah, so that does tie into, oh, okay, that, and there's Team Rocket out there, and um, maybe Ash and, and Misty and Russ are out there somewhere. Um, so, the the idea that we can get more from this universe now is really intriguing to me. So, I yes. walked out thinking, alright, there's a lot more possibilities. Yeah. Because I was um, I was thinking that this is just going to be like a one and done. And like, all right, we're, let's just make a Pokemon movie and then we can then establish yeah. some other characters in another Pokemon movie. Like, no, no, no. This is actually tied to the anime. Um, so with that, I was like, oh, that's great. Well, when you say the anime, you're the not cartoon. talking about the cart. No, you're not. Because you're just talking about the first movie. And the first movie, nothing in that plays a part in any of the other seasons. No, no I'm telling you because I, I've watched them. I know, but I'm, I'm, just, I'm just going by with what happened in the first movie and what the directors and the filmmakers have said. Okay, well, so, then, they, then they obviously have like other plans that they're not telling us. But I'm no, telling sure. you, the whole Mewtwo thing only appears in the first movie and then does not occur again. Doesn't he get mentioned in the, in the anime, though? Mm -hmm. Me too? Not I really. don't remember. No. no. I mean, there might be a couple mentions, but, like, it really is not tied into the anime. They made, like, a reference to the first movie, and I guess yeah. they tied it in that way. Like, yeah. you, you said that the filmmakers said that. But, but yeah, they really haven't gone full anime yet. Like, the anime. No, but, <laughs> and, but I mean, the... The R thing was, obviously, we obviously know what that is representing. Well, that's from the game. Well, yeah, but... Um, so know. that's actually not in the show. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, um, so <laughs> Team Rocket. Well, maybe. Maybe yes. I'm hoping it is. But, yeah. Um, but just for me, just just I like I said, walking out was just okay. I I I liked the world building that they did. Um, and just the idea that we're gonna get, we're probably gonna get more because the movie's doing pretty good. Um, yeah. That, so I mean, that makes that, me feel good. Yeah, that made me feel like, yeah, all right. I, I, I liked it. Yeah. It and the, the thing about the anime is uh, the, the episodes are all very singular, yeah. right? They don't they don't really build upon themselves in the way that, like, a, a typical, like, t dramatic show would. Well, um, not, so, until they're, not unless they're fighting in a, in a tournament or something. Otherwise, it's, just, it's the same episode, even, pretty much. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the, so it really, really isn't a lot of, like, building there. Um, but where the opportunity lies for if they do more films is, I think, because of that, there's so many different things that they can pull from. All the different seasons when they're in a different region. Yeah. And all the, it's just, the world is so incredibly vast mm -hmm. that they really have so much to pick from. And, yeah, absolutely. And that's what's exciting. <laughs> but, I also, but I also like the fact that they kind of picked a little small pocket. To focus on, like we're just gonna focus on this one little city, pretty much. Yes. Where Pokemon and, and humans uh, live together. There's no battling. There's no Pokeballs. There's no. There's none of that. They're pretty much partners, um, in the city. And it's nice to see that that dynamic because we're used to seeing, obviously, you know, Ash and and um, Pikachu like that, where they're kind of like partners. But everything else is pretty much just like, all right, I'm the trainer. You're the Pokemon. You're gonna. We're gonna battle and things like that. We got a little bit of that. I wish we would have got more, but the fact that they focus on, on this one city where that's the relationship, um, and it's kind of unique to the universe where, like, hey, in this town or in this mm -hmm. city, we get along. So it was nice to see that, that dynamic of it. Well, I just hope that they don't carry that through, though, into the rest of it. Because... No, no. I hope not either, because yeah. I think that, that was the point of this movie. It's just like, hey, here's... That, that's how it is in this yeah. city. If you go anywhere else, mm -hmm. it's like the Pokemon you're used to, where it's well, battling and... The, the thing that I, I, I wish that they would have done something more with, however, is there was a fan film um, that someone made years ago, and it was like this po post-apocalyptic Pokemon world in which Pokemon battles were banned, and so everyone had to battle underground, and it was illegal. Um, and that we kind of got that in this film where there were these underground battles yeah. that weren't supposed to be happening and I wish that that played a little bit more of a role in yeah. it because I really didn't feel like there was a lot of danger there and you know I mean Pokemon are it's, it's a very unusual city where like yeah. that's not the way the rest of the Pokemon world really works so um I thought I just have a lot of thoughts about it because in a lot of the games, uh, the the bad guy will be um, saying, "Oh, we shouldn't battle Pokemon; they should be our friends." And that's the that's the bad guy. Yeah. And so it's weird that there's this whole city built around this mentality, but of course it turns out that the person who built the city is the bad guy. <laughs> so. Bad guy. Yeah. So that's an interesting layer too. Um, just the underground battles, and then the the parallels between the game and you know, making the world a better place, which is what mm -hmm. all villains really kind of, not all of them, but yeah. a lot of them have Well, that. the good ones just, you know, <laughs> like, no, I want the world to be this way. Yeah. Like, I think this is right. Than, like Thanos type yeah. situation where it's like, no, I'm, I'm doing I'm, this I'm for, right. for yeah. everyone. Yeah, you know? not just for me. Yeah. I'm doing it for everybody, you know, so, going forward. Yeah, so it's, in it's interesting. And I, I hope that we do get to see more of the traditional, um, you know, way that... Pokemon and their trainers kind of but, interact. But. Because, I mean, it was nice to see, obviously, um, Detective Pikachu, and there was a lot of jokes in that sense, but there was not, there just wasn't a lot of Pokemon battles. And um, that was one thing that I was looking forward to going in, because yeah. you say Pokemon, and yeah. you, know, you get battles, which we yeah. didn't get a lot of. But, but part of me is just like, okay, um, I'm willing to give the movie a pass, mm -hmm. On the fact that we didn't get it because they're trying to... I understand what they're trying to yeah. do. Yeah, I get it too. And also, it, it forced the emphasis on the relationship yeah. between people which is, which and is Pokemon. fine, which is fine. Mm -hmm. Now, whenever the next movie comes out, <laughs> you won't get a pass if there's not a lot of Pokemon battles. So I'm just, yeah. I'm just putting that out there. You get a pass this time. And they can have them look so cool and do some... You can, yeah, and, and that's what I was... I was 
that's when we got when we saw um, Pikachu and and um, Charizard. I was like, all, all right, man, we got a little taste of it in the trailers. But I was like, all right, let's see it. We really, Not really. Let's see it. Or them t all, all the fights they were doing to um, building up to it. I was like. I just want to see a traditional Pokemon battle. I know, and what's what's That's fun what I wanted is, to see, and we didn't get it. Yeah, and in Pokemon tournament, the the fighting game. Yeah. I mean, just watching someone play that is pretty cool because yeah. you know you're controlling the Pokemon and they're like the graphics are really great. And so imagine what they could do with you know a CG. Yeah. Move, and then, like and then, live action. Movie. And then the strategy that Incredible. comes up, that comes in with with like which Pokemon to pick and yeah. who's effective against what and what. What moves should I do and things like that? The strategy yeah. of that, yeah. I can't wait to see on screen. I know it's, I know it's coming. I know it's gonna come. Yeah. But again, I give this movie a pass because it yeah. really wasn't about that. So I'll give it a pass. It wasn't about that, and we we're gonna get that later. Yeah. But to get that, we had to get this. So right. it's actually an interesting choice to do this movie first, where you could easily have seen them do like a Pokemon Go type thing or the Ash and um, route they chose not to do that, and I, that's a very interesting, bold choice on their part to do a Detective Pikachu um, movie because it's not a traditional not what you would expect. I I think it's uh, I was surprised, but the more I think about it, it it's like a an in for people. Yeah, who aren't, it's a really it's a good. So it, it actually makes perfect sense that they would do it this way and not do like a traditional like oh do the Ash and Misty and Brock story. It makes perfect sense that they would do it this way because. There are people who don't know anything about Pokemon and would rather just kind of be like, oh, Ryan Reynolds is Pikachu? Sure, I'll go see that. Well, like, I mean... You know what I mean? That's the old story of like, oh, you gotta get a name to, to get the adults in. Like, oh, Deadpool's voice of Pikachu? Okay. Yeah, and like most most people, you're like your layperson, even people who play Pokemon Go don't really understand how the gameplay really works, like the original gameplay. Yeah. Um, so it might some of that might be lost on... Um, some newer fans, and then, but if they don't get specific with it, then hardcore fans will be a little disappointed. So it makes sense that they started with this sort of third option, yeah. this like other, you know, game that apparently did pretty well um, to get people interested, get mm -hmm. people in it. So let's talk about the story. So yeah. basically, like, um, uh, the kid, what's the kid's name again? Tim. Tim, whatever. I didn't like Tim. I liked him. He was okay. He was derpy, but you know, it was like whatever. <laughs> um, but the the thing that really bothered me about him is like, because if you watch the trailer reviews that we did, I was always like, all right, how is he talking to Pikachu? How does he understand Pikachu? Like, I hope they don't do something stupid. So he he the the mist he breathes it in. He's able to talk to Pikachu. Okay, that's a gimmick you want to use. Fine, I'm on board. But when all the other human, when everybody else gets exposed to it, it doesn't affect them. I was like, what the hell? Like, why aren't everybody else be able to hear? And then why can't he the only understand Pikachu? You can't understand anybody else? It's well, like, that's because yeah. it's his dad. That's why. It's the connection between him and his dad. That's how he was able to understand Pikachu. Oh, okay. You missed that part. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Okay. I mean, yeah, that's kind of how I feel too. Like, like okay, um, but yeah, that's that. I think that was the. Maybe I didn't miss it because they didn't didn't set up the rules good enough for me to to that's get fair. it. That's fair. Like. That's fair. You basically <laughs> you basically told me he he breathed in this mist. He can understand Pikachu. No, I don't think that's that was the. I don't know what well, the intention of that was. But he breathed it in, and then as soon after that, he can understand Pikachu. But not any of the other Pokemon. No, so I don't okay. understand why he like. I, I feel like those two things were not related, though. Like, they happened in sequential order, but I don't think one meant the other. Well, then, if that's the case, then it really doesn't make any sense. Then how do, like, how do you get to understand that? Because it's his dad. I, I know that, but he didn't know that. Well, right. And Pikachu didn't know that. Right, that's why they're trying to figure it out. And that's why they didn't couldn't really come up come up with an answer, because mm -hmm. neither of them knew that. That was kooky. Anyway, that... that, that that didn't work for me. But the fact that the, the way the Pokemon were, were the CGI on them looked great. Um, that lick it tongue scene was weird. There was, there was place. some weird... Well, here's this... Just like, I don't know what... Like, he just licked him and that was... So, what was that? here's my biggest gripe 
with overall tonally with this film is there was too much in there for like five-year-olds like there were two fart jokes I, 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 been, I was counting there were two fart jokes one pp joke and then of course like the gross like licking like why mm-hmm. are you just see five-year-olds being like ah! it's like that's not it doesn't work for like 90 percent of the rest of the audience though. i hear you like mm-hmm. i don't need to see a fart joke in the pokemon movie please no like, but i really don't but I, I, I agree with you, and usually I hate fart jokes and poop jokes and stuff like that, but... Yeah, we've, I feel like we've had this conversation but before. there wasn't a lot of them enough to be like, oh, God, not another one. No, but stuff like that, like the licky tongue thing. Yeah, just the, well, the licky tongue thing was just completely... Just out of place. Weird. There was no reason for it. Yeah, just kind of like... He's sitting on a train and just licks him, and then well, that's it. Well, it's, like, sla- it's, it's like, like slapstick, like lowbrow, like that's what that is. That, that, like, it's, it's, like the bar is like an inch off the ground there, and it's like... like what was the, I know. Well, like, no one even, like, when I watched it, like, everyone was like, ugh. Like, yeah. It, it didn't work. Like, if, you, if you're trying to get a laugh, it didn't work. Not at all. So no. it was I mean, just awkward. It was like really. It awkward really was awkward because yeah. like there's nothing to it. There was no reason for it to happen except for you trying to make a joke, and it fell, it fell forced and fell flat. I guess the uh, the only thing I could see why they would have put that in there is to emphasize the fact that Tim isn't really a big fan of Pokemon. Like he doesn't really want to be friends with them. He kind of just, you know, and so like this licky tongues in his personal space, and it just makes everything worse. Yeah, That's kind of how I can see why they would have played it. Fair enough, but didn't didn't work. Like you got to do it a different way. Like you gotta <laughs> you got you gotta set it up better that way. So maybe it just sits next to him and he's annoyed by that, and then it, it licks something else. Or, or, or it, it and just it, drools. It, yeah, yeah. I mean, and then, yeah. Yeah. Like, do set that joke up more <laughs> than just like all right, and then that's it. And then ha ha ha. That's funny, right? Like almost like holding the applause sign, like right after doing it. Like you're supposed to laugh here. Yeah, there were definitely some moments that were supposed to be humor that. Well, I mean, I think we're for like, like children. P- yeah, well, like P- a lot of Pikachu's humor was was fine. Like the Mister Mime stuff that they showed from the trailer was fine. Um, yeah, yeah. Ryan Reynolds did a good job as, as Pikachu. I, I thought he did a great job. Yeah, yeah. I, he really like. I got it. Like, man, I'm sad that we're not gonna get him to be Pikachu anymore. Well, maybe they'll do a sequel. Well, maybe I don't and know. Then we'll go back into Pikachu. Um, I did like the cameo of him at the end. Playing his dad just yeah. to... Yeah. I was like, oh, like, oh that okay. makes sense. <laughs> like, it even makes even more sense why... He, yeah, so yeah. I like that part. Um, Tim was just like, whatever, he's long for the ride. He kind of was whatever. I mean, he... This is one of those um, movies where, like, the problem that I have with the plot, or at least the character, is that he's not really driving the story. It's just things are happening, happening to, to him. him. Yeah. And he's reacting accordingly, sort of. Um, mm-hmm. It's really um, Lucy who's kind of the one being like, hey, come on, we gotta go figure this yeah. out, we gotta go do this. So, yes, yeah, Tim's kind of... She's more driving the story than he is. Exactly. He's just, you know, a- yeah. along for the ride, pretty exactly. much. Yep. And, you know, I mean, I, whatever his arc was supposed to be, which is like, oh, I, I, I like Pokemon again, or something, or my dad loves me, was kind of whatever. I mean... Very cookie cutter. Yeah. Talk about Cookie Gutter. Let's talk about these villains. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Let's talk about these bad guys who were just so villainous, <laughs> you know? And, of course, there was a little there was a twist, right? Because yeah. it wasn't the it wasn't the one, the son. It was the father all along. And it, and it wasn't Mewtwo who was the bad guy. He's trying to save everybody. Yeah. Ooh, twisty. What a twist! <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I mean, some of that was, like, you're going to hit me... Hard with the stereotypical villain thing, really. Um, I didn't really appreciate some of that. Um, it, it also felt like the plot was a little more convoluted than it really needed to be. Like, sure the hell was! Like, there was a lot going on, a lot of motivations that were never fully, on, on like, the bad people side, that were never really fully fleshed out. Um, what I also didn't like was we got these flashbacks of something that Tim shouldn't have the opportunity to actually witness, but it's because of this machine where it's like, oh, we recorded it, and like, no, yeah. you can be in the scene and watch it happen. I'm like, that's clearly just for the audience, because yes. they couldn't find any other way to... To do a like, flashback, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, like, that didn't work for me. Um, um, like, why, how do, why do you have this mysterious machine? I don't know. I mean, they, they played the really long game with, like, misdirecting you with thinking, Mewtwo's the villain, Mewtwo's the villain. Yeah. 
the son's a villain, the son's a villain. And yeah. It's like, all right, when you reveal... Like, it's one thing for you to do one or the other. Like, hey, Me Too's the bad guy, the bad guy, the bad guy. Oh, he's not the bad guy. He's actually trying to save him. And then the son's the bad guy, the bad guy, the bad guy. And then, no, it's the father. Like, is it okay if you did one or the other? You did both? <laughs> and this is like, I don't know if you should have, like... Hmm. Like, okay. So, I don't know. I, it just, just... <laughs> Yeah, like convoluted. Yeah, right. Like, like you just felt lo- bloated. Like do one of the two. Bloated, convoluted. Yeah, those are the words that come to mind yeah. for sure. With just the just way that they were two. trying to like weave this complicated plot together, yeah. and it's like we really didn't have to be that. Like I get it. It's Detective Pikachu. I get it that there's a mystery that needs yeah. to be solved. Like you know, and they're uncovering some stuff, but they're. I, I need to see it again because maybe it's way maybe it was the wine that was confusing me. No. But I was just kinda like, wait, what? Alright, I'll go with it. I mean I, <laughs> you know, there was a little bit of that feeling while I was watching it. I mean I did I, I do like the idea of just like Mewtwo being in the movie and then let him be the bad guy. I don't I'm I'm okay with him being the bad guy or or at least let him be manipulated to be the bad guy, and then he kind of snaps out of it. Like, that's a little bit more straightforward. Yeah. The idea of the father, the father trying to, like, all right, I'm going to put myself in Mewtwo, and then I'm going to try to get every all the humans into Pokemon bodies. Yeah, that and, will, I mean, uh, every, it's all just insane. And then you're doing the whole Batman with the, sp- the mist coming out of the balloons. It was like... Yeah, I definitely like, thought... They didn't watch like, Batman I was like, oh, from Scarecrow. Back to Eddie Died. Yeah. And then, oh, no, that's Batman 1989, the smoke coming out of the balloons on the parade. I was like... Wow, the filmmakers watched Batman in 1989. I yeah. love that movie too, but it was like, wow. No, no, you're right. It was like a lot. This looks of familiar stuff. to me. Which is, it, mean, was, it was a lot of stuff. Yeah, it was a lot of stuff. I mean, but, I mean, at the look, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, <laughs> Pokemon looked good. Ryan Reynolds did a good job. Builds, builds, extends the universe a little bit. Yeah. We had the opportunity now to get, um, more traditional Pokemon movies now. So if at the end of the day, if that's if this movie sets up the rest, yeah, then I'm I'm happy. Yeah. It's not the best movie in the world. I would I wanted more from it. Yeah. But if if we had to lay the groundwork to get better movies and more movies going forward, then it did its job. Right, and of course, let, let's not forget it. It is based on a game yeah, where yeah. this is pretty much what plays out. Yeah. So, you know, they, they took that and they put a new movie. So they they didn't really use all the opportunities that they had, like I was talking about, where they, they can really pick and choose any different way to tell a story because there's so much to pick from. They chose one specific yeah. one and went with it. Don't, I'm not sure, sure it worked great, but... Well, I mean, but... Again, but if if you need to tell those stories, you have to tell this one first. Uh, yeah. I mean, could they have done a better job? Yes. Could they have um, chose a better way of doing it? Yes. Um, that damn looky tongue scene just bothered me. It annoyed me so much. It took me right out of the movie when I saw it. Um, yeah. But um, should I watch it again? Would I have a different feeling on it? Maybe. Will I see it again? Yes. Um, but I, I probably will buy it. But um, if, again, if this movie is just like... To me, it reminds me more of, of like when I saw Captain Marvel coming out of that. It's like if this movie, it's a setup. <laughs> it sets up her character going forward, so we, so we a lot of that work doesn't have to be in Endgame. This movie built, establishes like yes, it's the Pokemon universe. We understand that Pokemon battles and all that stuff takes place, mm-hmm. just not in this city. Um, it's set, then I can understand. Like I said, I understand why they chose to f- focus on that because it's not something we we traditionally are used to. If you're a fan of the anime or the majority of the games, so I like them focusing on that. But now, if that lays the groundwork for, for a scale of the things, Pokemon Pinball. <laughs> Pokemon Pinball. Yes. Yeah, like the I, I, like I swear, the next movie, you have to have Pokemon battles. That's what we want. Yeah. Well, I mean, that, I'll say that's what I want. I know that's what I, I want. I want that too. I yeah. definitely do. I mean, there's it's just that part of me that's like, I'm a Pokemon yeah. trainer. You know, it's always been that way. Yeah. And it's I like, mean, it'll be really fun to see that on screen. Yeah, and you don't even have to, you don't have to include Ass or Mystery or Brock or any of them. You can make a movie about... Me? About... <laughs> about uh, <laughs> Please cast me. <laughs> Please, if you're watching this. Okay. Sell down. Sell down. Um, the idea of just like any... Uh, them going through a Pokemon um, tournament. 
Like, the movie could be about a Pokemon tournament. Or Pokemon School, which yeah. is... Ash is currently in Alola at Pokemon uh, School. Well, he's still in a, He's not in a coma? He's uh, He might be. Well, but in his coma, he's also... He's in school now? Yeah, he's, he's, doing, he's doing some more training. Yeah, you gotta... You can't just go out to the field and learn by experience. You have to do some studying, too. He was doing... He's out in the field that whole time, like, for years! And, and he hasn't learned a damn thing. Can we all agree on that? <laughs> He's still a terrible trainer. Yeah, he so, hasn't yeah. learned that he likes Misty, and then they should be a thing. Oh, yeah, that's, well, whatever. Uh, that's... Misty's in denial. She's in clear denial. Yeah, I mean, Ash is a dweeb, so... Well, well she <laughs> can do better, but whatever. Yeah. Um, and I want to see Team Rocket. I want to see Team I know. Rocket. There, yeah, I so much potential. But here's the other thing, too, about uh, Detective Pikachu that... I liked that they incorporated Pokemon from all the different generations instead yeah, of just the first one fifty. Because you know it's it's fun. Because I was that person in my head, not out loud. I was like, oh, there's so and so, there's so you know, and I was like, ooh, that's fun to be able to see all these Pokemon. Um, but it would have been nice to not just see them and like have more moments yeah, like more to with do. Mr. Mime, yeah. like showing like his whole thing. Um, obviously, Licky Tongue did his thing. Like they, had, <laughs> they showed the Squirtle Squad kind of like putting out a fire. Like I just wish that the supporting Pokemon had more to do. Like it was like the Pikachu show. Like I was his detective. Like Pikachu. it was fun to watch. Like Psyduck, they did really well. Yeah, with, Psyduck was Psyduck's was fun. character. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how much more they could have really fit into the movie, but that's something that I'm looking forward to. Um, going forward is just more of the individual Pokemon, not just walking down the street, but actually being part of the, being in the fray. Yeah, and, and, and to, to pick up on that point, and here's my biggest fear, and I, I'm really worried about this, is that they, if in future Pokemon movies, they focus a lot on Pikachu. Mm -hmm. And I don't want that to happen. If It, it will remind yeah. me of like, when the extra movies came out, you put the emphasis on Wolverine, mm -hmm. And didn't focus on the rest of the extra. I don't want there to be Pikachu heavy. Like yeah, no, I get it. I get it. Pikachu's a popular Pokemon. I yeah. get. It. He's not the only one. Pikachu will be in. Every, yeah, I don't. My words. I don't have a problem with it. Movie. Yeah, he can be in every movie. Don't have a problem with that. But you can't put the focus on yeah. Pikachu every single time. No. I get it this time. Again, you're gonna get a pass for me. It's called Detective Pikachu. But if it's just Pokemon the movie, yeah. or whatever you're gonna call it. Give the other Pokemon more to do than besides Pikachu, and I, I think that's my fear going forward. That oh my God, they're gonna they, they saw how good Pikachu did. They're gonna focus more on him, and that's gonna annoy me. But no, that's fair. Uh, there are so many other Pokemon that people like, though. You yeah. Know? I mean, people love. We saw Bulbasaur, Bulbasaur, <laughs> Bul Bulbasaur, Charmander, and yeah. Squirtle. We saw them, yeah. but you know they didn't they do more. Yeah. Um, also, Eevee. We saw Eevee. Briefly, yeah. Um, but people love the Eevee evolutions. Like, yeah, Vaporeon's my favorite, and pe like, there's T-shirts everywhere of like all the different. Like, people love those Pokemon. So, yeah. I I agree that it's a concern, but um, it'd be really stupid if they didn't cat. You know, well, nah. <laughs> it could it could ease. They could easily go down that road, and yeah. it's it. It I wouldn't. I could understand it too from a marketing standpoint yeah. and a money making standpoint for them to go down that road, but you guys don't have to do that. Yeah. Po we all if you love Pokemon, you, you love Pokemon, not Pikachu. Yeah. Pikachu is a Pokemon. Pikachu. Not Pikachu doesn't come first. Pokemon come first. He's a Pokemon. Number twenty five. Yeah, exactly. So well, I didn't even know you know his, well, I'm not surprised you know his number. Ha -ha. So like that's my only fear going forward is that they're gonna put more of a stamp on him. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, and I do want more, I want the Pokemon to do more. Like, obviously the humans and Pokemon have a relationship, but I want to see the Pokemon do more. Yeah. Not, obviously I said something dumb before, like, um, I want there to be a Pokemon only movie. We're never going to get that. That's kind of dumb on my part for me to say that. But I just want more of a Pokemon, what I meant by saying that is I want a more Pokemon heavy movie where it's more, they're more the emphasis on the movie. Kind of like in the first movie... Um, where Pokemon, like, are battling Pokemon with, with Mewtwo, like, like, yeah. like just more, th well, they have more to do. Yeah, and one way that they can do that is if they take legendary Pokemon from the games, because legendary, um, or, or the anime, which yeah. they're heavily featured as well, um, if they take that, um, then the mythology of 
oh, this Pokemon, you know, when it, like, ho -Oh, for example, like, when it flies by, it, like, gives you good luck or something like that. And, like, that's sort of, like, they can use that as a benchmark to, you know, pull more Pokemon mythology yeah. into the story. Which I'm fine with. Yeah. Um, and then there's always, like, that mystery of, like, oh, these legendary Pokemon, they haven't been seen for, mm -hmm. you know, hundreds and hundreds of years, but... Team Rocket's trying to wake them up to do some horrible things. I mean, that's pretty much, yeah, it's like kind of what all of the games are about. Um, yeah, but it works. And, and the fun. enemies about, and, and the movies that I've seen are about. <laughs> yeah. Always, yeah. I think no, I've only true. seen like the first three. All the movies feature like two, like three of the legendary Pokemon. The one like cute tiny one, like Mew, for example. Oh. And then there's like the two com conflicting or working together yeah. big ones that represent each of the games. Yeah. <laughs> right? So I, I think if they focus a little bit more on like that mythology, then automatically it will have to be more. Yeah, about I hope so. I hope so. So like you can focus um, as opposed to how the humans are messing everything up. Yeah, you can focus on like a movie where they're encountering one of them, and then just them dealing with that Pokemon. That Pokemon like maybe not used to the world and having to struggle to be a part of it. Like I don't want to battle. I don't need. I don't want a trainer. I don't want, like you. There's so much stuff you, you can. You choose the poster child. Yeah. That. Like this. Like, so much, yeah, there's so much <laughs> material to mine that you don't have to focus on just battles, which I do want them to show. You don't have to focus on Pikachu. This, yeah. How many Pokemon are there now? I think there's like 800. Well, we have, we're getting Sword and Shield later okay. this year. So, so there's, there's, more. there's tons to focus on. Ah. Don't focus on Pikachu. Yes. Anyway, so let's wrap it up. Final thoughts. Uh, lightning Bolts out of 10. How many Lightning Bolts? Would you mm. get the movie? Yeah, this movie uh, had some issues that I like, you know, just as a film wasn't great, but it was still fun to see. It was still fun to see. Um, so I, I gotta give it a, I'll give it a six and a half. Well, okay. It's like, like a, all right, 6.75. Like I, I liked the movie, but it definitely had some problems, problems yeah. that I feel could have been fixed um so yeah there you go uh i mean i'm kind of in the same boat as you it, it kind of also reminds me of seeing the first transformers movie for me in the sense where it's like oh man i didn't think we'd get this mm. and you get it and you're like oh it's it's it's, it's good <laughs> uh, but I'm, I'm curious to see what they're gonna do going forward like we okay now we got the initial movie out the way all right what else are they gonna do and obviously mm. with transformers it didn't end up yeah, too well going hopefully. forward but hopefully pokemon uh better things happen going forward. Um, but for me, I, I, I kind of agree with you in the sense where this movie had its issues, the villains were whatever, and um, yeah. Tim was... Whatever. Was so long for the ride. Yeah. Um, but again, for me, I think history will look back on this movie. It just laid the groundwork for a lot of Pokemon movie going forward. So if that's the case, um, then you, we might feel different about it maybe five years from now. Maybe. We'll see, but um, for right now, I think I might just give it uh, six and a half. Okay. All six right. and a half lightning bolts. Yeah. Um, out of ten. Yeah. Because you know it's good to. I didn't hate it. I just was enjoying it, and I, and I got a nice education a nice of each education. Pokemon that was on screen when this girl's lady was saying it every time. Yeah. yeah. So it was um, a but I forgot it right after afterwards because it was annoying. But anyway, what are you guys' thoughts on Detective Pikachu? Did you like it? Um, did you like that they tied it into at least the first movie? Um, what are your thoughts about the franchise going forward? Should they focus on, on on legendary Pokemon, on battling, on tournaments? Um, where does Team Where do you want Team Rocket to fit in there? What are your thoughts? Let's start the conversation below. Um, also, like, subscribe, do all those great things. Make sure to hit that notification bell to be notified when we do our next movie review and we do our next trailer reviews. We do a fair amount of those. So I uh, look forward to those coming forward. But until then, I'm Sean. I'm Alex. Pika! Yeah.